Um, welcome to the Thursday night edition of uh, the True North Consulting Live. Um, as we've talked before, we'd like to bring on a very special guest to talk about uh, things outside of what we always talk about so that you can get a diverse um, kind of a diverse exposure to different information and different skill sets. So with us today from uh, from Texas is Amber Weiss, who is the founder of uh, Fit, <laughs> sorry, Fit Ladies Boot Camp. <laughs> I think I got myself listed up. So welcome, Amber. Hi, thank you guys for having me. Of course. So, you know, we want to talk about your skill set, obviously, as a, um, a fitness instructor and, and that sort of thing. But I think what's always impressed us the most about you is your story and how you kind of got here. So maybe kind of share a little bit about that and explain how you got to this part. Yeah, yeah. So um, kind of interesting background that you wouldn't rec you wouldn't know. But um, at two years old, I was actually diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And through that, the doctors told my parents, you know, she will, she won't run, for example, she's not going to swim, she's not going to ride a bicycle. And they're like, I don't, I, you know, I just don't understand, like, what this means. And he said, basically, she won't have a normal life. And, you know, he pulls up the MRI, and he shows where the brain cells are actually dead, they don't work, that would control this right side of my body, which actually it does move, I just have to remind myself to move it when we're on video. Um, but so, she, you know, they're devastated, of course, they come home crying, and then they, you know, spend the next eight or nine years more than that, really, but eight or nine years of my life, just kind of putting me in this bubble and telling me you can't go play on the playground with the other kids. And I had three sisters. So it was like watching all the kids play and then just sitting there. Cause yeah. Amber's not allowed to play. She can't walk on her own. So she has to just sit there. And, um, it's traumatic <laughs> as a child, um, to watch other kids play and be told not, we're not letting you, you can't, you physically can't do it. Um, so maybe I was born with this determination. Maybe it was built through that. And then later in school, you go to school, you're different. You can imagine just yucky, um, picked on a lot, called names a lot. And I remember the turning point for me was, I think I was 10 years old, nine or 10 years old. And I came home from school and I was crying because somebody had tried to beat me up and it's just, people are mean, <laughs> kids are mean, yeah, yeah. teach your kids to be nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> And my sister, my older sister, who's only like a year and a half older than me, she's like, seriously, Amber, what are you crying about? And I'm like, these kids are mean to me and they're calling me crippled and all these words that are like even hard for me now to say because I have attached so much shame to them. Um, and I, she was like, that's bull. Like, no, Amber, like, that's not you. And she was like, you are normal. Don't listen to other kids. And I'm like, you know, I'm not. And she's like, yes, you are. And I'm going to prove it. She puts me on a bicycle, Hillary and Randy. I've never ridden a bicycle, not with tries, not with the little training wheels on the side. I'm 10, like 10 years old. I don't know how to ride a bike. I don't know how to do anything. Um, I mean, I wasn't in braces or anything like that, but I might as well have been, or like y'all remember that show. I think it's an eighties, the bubble kid. Yeah. Like <laughs> that was my life, but without the bubble. Um, but I was like, okay, like I'm going to try it. And I got on and I could ride it just fine. And I, it just, it just built something in me. It built a belief in me that like, you know what, I can do things that people tell me I can't do. And, you know, slowly over time, I started using my body more and more and trying to be quote unquote normal. Um, and it was amazing that I could teach myself. And I, I mean, I begged my mom to bring me to physical therapy. I sat there and practiced counting with my hands and and, you know, huge backstory there, but basically a lot of work went into just looking like a normal person every day. <laughs> and later in life, um, you know, going through another tough time, going through a divorce and um, just decided to turn to physical fitness and try. And again, fell down a lot, tried to run, fell down a lot, tried to work out at the gym, embarrassed myself a lot. <laughs> um, so lots of, lots of backstory is the point. But um, what I found was that I was able to run a half marathon. I was able to compete in a triathlon. I was able to have four children, naturally, four children, 
don't recommend for children, um, <laughs> but I was able to do it. <laughs> um, and I lead a very normal life now, so much so that now I actually teach people health and fitness because I know that the body mind connection, I know that the profitability body connection, I know that the mood body connection. I know that the relationship body connection, like it's so important. Our, our bodies and our health are so important to not only how we feel, um, but how, how we thrive in every area of our life. So that's the backstory on me, I guess. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. It was uh, when we met you, gosh, a year ago or however long it's been now, that, that was one thing that stood out to me is just your, your commitment and dedication and perseverance and not accepting the word no, and just deciding that Yes, you may fall, you may fail a few times, but that doesn't mean you're done. So uh, okay. kudos to you. Thank you. I fall a lot, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do the same thing to a lot of uh, wounded warriors. They tell them when they come back, they're never going to do anything. There was a guy who was a double amputee and went back and was the CEO of like some whole unit. Wow, like a whole like fleet or something, and they told him he was done and he wouldn't have it. And obviously, wow. he was able to run around unattended in Afghanistan, but yeah, plenty of stuff he could do and pass the test for. Well, it's insane. Like our mind is so powerful, and you guys, this is going to just tell you how cheesy I I am. Um, but I literally had no friends growing up, literally. Um, and so I would just study encyclopedias. Someone donated encyclopedias to my family. Um, and I would just study the encyclopedias and somewhere along the way I found, I don't know if it was in the encyclopedia, I'm assuming it was, but I found that like our bodies, our brains aren't even used in full capacity and um, we use such little parts of our brain. And so I just started deducting that if a lot of my brain's not being used and the brain cells to control the right side of my body are dead, maybe there's a way to somehow move this other side of my body with other brain cells. I don't know, but it worked. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm one of those cheesy people. That's like, anything's possible. You can do it. Um, you know, and I could tell you story after story of things, but yeah, so that's me. So now basically I help women lose weight from home. Um, I help women. It, it's way bigger than losing weight from home. It always is. Um, because we all know what to do, right? Like, eat less, work out more. Um, but it's, it's given you the home workout. So it's given you the tools, the actual workouts from home, but then it's also, you know, the self-confidence and the self-talk and all of that stuff. That's a part of the group. And that's, you know, you work out with someone, you hang out with someone, you start to be like them. Right. And by just association. And when I'm working out, I'm giving them not on purpose. I'm just talking out loud of what I'm thinking, you know, go get a little deeper. You can do this. Like we can do hard things. Like, and so I always say, if you want what someone else has, then do what they did. <laughs> and so now you're able to help them obviously physically, uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of those things and help them to achieve their goals. And many of them are, are business owners or working in that space and helping them to increase or improve their businesses at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. So obviously I'm not a business coach. I'll let you guys do the awesome things of um, all the, the ins and outs of that. But what I have found is anytime I want to increase my income, I increase what I'm what I'm doing with my body. Um, and so I'll go over these, these statistics and these facts um, that really have helped entrepreneurs. And um, I've done these talks and months later gotten so many emails from people saying, oh my goodness, like this really did work. So, I mean, it works. Like if you're an entrepreneur, if you're like, I need a little bit of a competitive edge, I need to increase my profitability a little bit. Like we all know what to do in business too. It's just like, what's the missing link to get us there? So um, the first thing is it improves our memory. And so I can't speak for men, but as women, <laughs> I'm like looking on this side of the screen, as women, um, I'm sure men do too, but I've just, I've only been a woman. So, but we have so many things we're balancing at any one given time. Like, you know, I told you guys before this converse, before we went live, like I've got to drop one kid off, got to pick another kid up. The husband's working late, you know, and there, there's like 20 other things that are going in my head in addition to business, in addition to health. Um, and so sometimes when we have so much going on, it can be easy to forget things. Um, 
But science has actually found that after six weeks of just 20 minute workouts, um, people's memory actually improved. And it's um, linked to the, it's called the brain derived neuro, neuro, neurific factor. And so you can look that up and, and see what that's about. But basically it, it definitely helps your memory improve, which we can all use that in business, right? And um, the second thing is exercise really helps us focus. And so this is kind of sad, but a 2010 Harvard study found that 47% of the time, what we're doing, we're not even thinking about, you know? And so it's like, I, I think that number's low. Um, <laughs> I think it's higher um, that we go into this like state of not even focusing on what we're actually doing, not being present. Um, have you guys found yourself to do that at times? Sure. Yeah, it's happened. Whether it's in a conversation, you're working on your computer, your mind drifts off, watching a show, thinking about something else. Yeah, for sure. That's why yeah. meditation has become such a big thing, clearing your mind. Yeah, because yeah, it helps you stuff. focus. Yeah. But like, and the flip side is like, have you ever like been in conversation with someone since you brought up conversation and like they have, you have their full attention and you know, like you're zoned in. Right. Like, Oh, that feels amazing. Right. And so that's how the power of focus like helps us in our business. When we're talking to clients, like I, I have been, I have been guilty of just, you know, fading off. And I'm like, what? these are like, this is my client, like get back here. <laughs> um, uh, so, but it, it actually increases your focus, um, exercise and physical activity improve the function of the central nervous system, which leads to, um, more sustained attention and focus. Um, the third thing, I'm just like going down my list right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, you're more creative. So Freud, Dickens, I'm like totally name dropping right now, Darwin, Beethoven, they all took advantage of workouts before they went into the creativity mode. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and again, a 2014 Stanford study found that um, creativity, they measured um, someone's creativeness would go up 60% after a 20 minute workout. So, and a 20 minute workout can be anything, you know, talking about Freud and Beethoven and Dickens, cause I've had people write to me, what did they like, what did they do? How did they work out? Like, well, they weren't a part of Fit Ladies Boot Camp. I'm like, I don't know. Cause they weren't a part of Fit Ladies Boot Camp and I didn't find that information. Um, but working out can be anything, right? Like it doesn't have to be joining a boot camp. It can just be moving your body, getting your heart rate up um, or, you know, I could go super deep there, Taking but a walk, walking your dog, riding a bike. Yeah. In my case, like pretending like my kids are up in their room, putting dance music on and dancing around, hoping they don't come down and see me. <laughs> it's not pretty, you know, like whatever, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Um, the fourth thing is it builds confidence. So Brian Tracy says that anything you do um, in the psychology of sales book, he says anything that we can do to build self confidence will increase our sales and thus improve our profitability. Um, so working out makes us feel obviously more attractive. It makes you feel more powerful um, and it makes you feel like you're living in integrity. And so, you know, we've all felt that like we've all done the thing where we're like, okay, I'm going to work out tomorrow, right? Like tomorrow or Monday or whatever the, the word is in our head. And then we go and then we don't do it. And anytime we say we're going to do something and we don't do it, we're hurting our personal integrity, which lowers our self-confidence. But every time we do what we say we're going to do, then our self-confidence is raised, obviously. And anytime our self-confidence is raised, our ability to make sales and be more, um, attractive in the marketplace increases. So um, do what makes you feel good and work out. And then the fifth thing is, um, and this is our final thing, but we learn better. And so this goes back to like, we were put on the planet like a zillion years ago before technology, right? Like there were no computer screens, there were no desk jobs, there were no, um, you know, <laughs> like basically to live, we had to move our bodies, right? Like that's what we had to do. Um, we had to go hunt the food and gather the berries and cook the food, you know, like whatever, however they lived back then. And so it's interesting when you study the brain and science, and I should have had the book with me to show um, people who want to like dig deeper into some of this stuff. It's called um, Spark, the Science of Brain and Exercise. Um, but our brain, when we're not in motion, 
when I've said timers for everything, um, when we're not in motion, then our brain says there's nothing new here to learn. I can chill out and I can relax. Um, and so when we're not moving our body, which is very easy to do because we're in, you know, desk jobs. And now a lot of us are quarantined and working from home. It is so easy to just be sedentary. And then we're like stressed out after a day of hard work. And then we put on Netflix or like whatever we do. And we're like, we need to chill for a minute. And then it's more sedentary. And so our brain, we're not accessing all the things that our brain can do for us um, because we're not moving our body. So when we move our bodies, we, we get, we um, increase the ability to learn. In fact, the last statistic I'll give you is the Department of Education in California has consistently shown a, a correlation in children that get the um, high physical fitness score. What is that called? Is it just a physical fitness score? I forget what it's called. It used to be named yeah. English or something. I don't know. I always failed it, but then I was like. It was probably a formal name, but I, I don't, I don't oh, know what I can think of it. Whatever the heck that thing is. Award or something. Yeah, so something like that, whatever it is. But kids that score higher on that consistently will sc score higher on their ACT and their SATs. Um, and so, I mean, again, there's tons of research behind this. Like my, my daughter just took her MCAT, one just took her SAT, and another one's about to take her SAT. And like, I'm like, make sure you work out before you do this test. Like, because it, it matters. Like, take a jog around the block, something. If you need brain power, do something physical. And it will like stimulate your brain. It works every time. That's why you see so many entrepreneurs on Zoom on treadmills or ellipticals or whatever, or they're moving around. They don't mm -hmm. sit still. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the other thing, like we, me and my kids were talking yesterday about, they were like, why are some people just super skinny? And I'm like, because they move more. Some, I mean, sure there's DNA and there's genetics, but sometimes it's just neat. It's called non-exercise activity. I don't know what the T stands for, but like if, yeah, if you can just fidget and move around more throughout the day, then you can burn more calories. Obviously you're not going to get super lean like that. You really need to join Fit Ladies boot camp to do that, <laughs> but you can increase your, I'm kidding. Um, but you can increase your, your metabolism by just doing things like that, like moving around while you're working and things like that. Well, that is a fantastic segue. Uh, speaking of Fit Ladies Bootcamp, how would uh, how would people get a hold of you if they're interested in learning more about you and your program? Yeah, so my we're not open right now today, as of today, but we are going to be open in a few days, and we have a super awesome bonus for people who do jump in. I'm specifically targeting our butt this month, and so there's going to be a booty challenge. I don't, I, I want to call it booty situation, you know, because some people like want it smaller, some people want it bigger, like whatever your booty situation is, I can help you. Mm -hmm. um, and so, <laughs> so in addition to all the workouts and all the fun stuff that you get inside Fit Ladies Bootcamp, which is an amazing value, um, we're, this month we're also, I'm gonna be giving you that, that booty guide. So the food you need to eat to increase, you know, to make your butt look the way you want it to do, because there is a science behind even the food you eat. And then the workouts you need to do and additional workouts. and. I always make a nice printout and it's nice. So, um, so they can go to fitladiesbootcamp.com. The easiest, simplest way, honestly, because I live on Facebook is to just add me here on Facebook. Um, but I do also have a business page. It's called Fit Ladies and that's on Facebook. And then I'm on Instagram at Wise Fit Life. I can put all those links below. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> that way for those that didn't write it down or whatever, it's written down. And yeah. 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 So I'm happy to do that. I'll drop those links below and um, yeah. And all the you, get quotes you just rattled off for those stats you rattled off. Those are interesting. Yeah. There's some good information there. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, there's, there's a lot of information that that's linked to the brain and, and exercise like, um, you know, and then I could tell you a lot of backstories in my life, how it's affected me, but I, I literally have like tripled my income before just by adding exercise in. So it works. Like if you're like on the fence, like, should I start working out or should I not? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and start. And on my Instagram page, I do free workouts and then I, sometimes on my page and then I have a free group as well. I can drop that link for anyone who wants to jump in there and, and get some free advice. Um, so yeah, that's how you get in touch with me. And I can, I can certainly offer a freebie to your people if that's okay. You would like that. Um, yeah. So I have a three-day program that I email out that when you join my email list, which is not junk, it's just, you know, when I have value, then I send out something on email. So I'm not going to spam you, but when I, um, but you can get a free three-day 
look inside of what we do. So it looks like a workout a day and a recipe a day for three days. Um, so we call it a three day fat burner to get you started. So I can definitely drop a link in the comments as well for that. <laughs> Great. Absolutely. The more the merrier. Thank you very, very hundred <laughs> Thanks for us uh, for spending some time with us. That was very valuable information. I think most, not most, uh, some of that we knew, but there was a lot of things maybe that we didn't necessarily consider. So it's been incredibly valuable for us as well. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming on here. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bye, y'all. Talk, talk to you soon. soon. Have a good one. Okay.